It's Kambada, the shaman, the god, the crack baby. And right now you're tuned in to Kofi's Universe, the number one and most truest source for hip hop news, reaction videos, sports, black culture, and much, much more. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button now. Bada. YouTube salute, so JD Kiss. He did an interview with Stephen A. Smith on his talk show podcast and he said he wants to sit down with j cole and ask what the hell happened if you're new to my channel thumbs up the video hit that sub button click that bell icon to be notified when i upload new content and go live let's listen to this i think he's wearing i don't, I don't think, think i think he really he felt, felt something, something internally i don't I think he, he i don't his skills is, is everything, everything is intact, intact. that, that should have engaged contact I don't, I don't think, think I, don't, I don't, I really, really want to get next to him and sit down, down and really ask him genuinely what happened. What happened? What did, what did, what did, wait, 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 wrong. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> really got to know, know because I thought, I thought, I thought he was going to be the most, you know, Kendrick, Kendrick he moves how he moves. Drake is very strategic how he does stuff. But I thought on the lyrical, I thought, I thought Cole, Cole was going to be super, super active. active. Yeah. And, and he did, did come, come back, back first one to respond, and then, then he, 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 he sees five. five. So, so I don't know. I think, I think he's wearing. I don't, I don't think. think. All right, so let me give a shout out to my boy Wes. Um, he sent this video to me on IG. So whoever sends, you know, clips and articles to me, I will do a. Um, I will do a video about it, so I'm just letting you know. So, shout out to Wes, y'all. So, salute to him. So, I agree when it comes to um, when it comes to J. Cole, you know, can he rap? Hell yeah, he can. We're not even gonna lie about that, you know. Can he flow without question of a doubt? I thought out of anybody, J. Cole was gonna be the one that's gonna, if he say what he say, cool. You know, I mean, J. Cole fought Diddy. You see what I'm saying? This was in 2013 after Kendrick released the monster um, on the Control song with Big Sean and Jay Electronica. I guess Diddy, you know, approached him about the, the track because when he said, I'm the king of the, you know, the East, whatever, yada, 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 I have to put those lyrics back up. But, you know, they got into it, woo woo. And I'm thinking, like, yeah, J. Cole is not a street dude. We're not worried about that, but we still got bars. He's been taking his uh, his subliminal shots at Kendrick throughout time. We all have heard it on all these songs throughout the years, and it has been very, it was anticipating. We all, we was, oh, man, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? And even on Red Letter, this is a new song, Um, I guess it's Future and Metro Booming. And J. Cole says, my energy was never on some toughest shit. I just was a conscious rapper who would F a bitch. Blix gets a blast and I turn into a track star. Okay, so my thing is, something had to happen for him to actually have some type of change of heart. Because if it's not you, I'm not mad at him if it's not you. But to me, that puts an asterisk on you when it comes to battle rapping. You're not a battle rapper. When it comes to the real funk, and guy, this has nothing to do with scrapping with somebody. You can still be who you are and still handle your business. As far as on the mic, we've seen it so many times. Everybody don't got to get out there like that. You see what I'm saying? But this this era of hip hop. Is garbage. Like Kendrick Lamar should have been in the nineties in the in the two thousands. Because when you got certain people who don't want to make a diss track, certain people worried about somebody else's feelings. It's like everybody's soft. Like I said in, in basketball and football, if you look at it today, when the game is over, they take their jerseys off and they sign it to the opposing um team, maybe like a player come up to them. They they swap jerseys to take a picture. They would 
Jordan and Charles Barkley would, would never do that. Lawrence Taylor and Joe Montana would have never did that. I mean, you don't want nobody to die, but you want to be the best. When the game is over, it's cool. Like, hey, man, good game, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You can still give, give, give each other props, but you was trying to let people know I'm the best at what I'm trying to do. That's why I said, like, Kendrick is supposed to be in the 90s, 2000s. It's okay. That's not his fault. But it's just saying, like, J. Cole, you could have just allowed the situation with Kendrick to happen, yada, yada, yada. You could have told him as, as a man, his face, bro, you're still my brother. Yeah, bro, I didn't want it to go this way, but I know this is, let's get the fans what they want. My boy Wes brought up something to me today. And he was talking about the Rick Ross Drake situation. I don't want to speak too much on that, but J. Cole could have did this. And I'm not saying this is 100% right. Kendrick, let's give our fans something. Let's have a concert. You know, I know you in um, LA, the um, California area. I'm in the Carolinas. All right. Can we do something maybe at the Crypto.com arena or maybe the SoFi Stadium? Or effort, let's take it to Miami. Let's do something where the Miami Dolphins play. Let's have a concert. Let's, let me do like six tracks. You do six tracks and we'll donate all the funds to the low income families so they can have money for school supplies. Like we'll make sure that we'll pass out school supplies. Um, new apparel, shoes, like all that stuff will be going to them and we'll flood our community. So he'll be able to flood Compton. J. Cole be able to flood, you know, his city in North Carolina and look out for those boys like that. I think that would have been a great idea. But, you know, everybody's different though. I don't know, man. It, I, I really believe that they should have did something like that. I think that would have been beautiful. That would have been dope for hip hop. I think everybody would have been like, wow, this is beautiful. They was able to say what they had to say. They got off their chest, and at the end of the day, nobody got hurt. Nobody wasn't going to, um, nobody wasn't going to get hurt. But I don't know. Everybody's different. Post your comments below. Hoax smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. You want to support? Donate to the channel. I have Patreon on Patreon.com/slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.